I think there are a couple of things that I really love to do. Uh, one, of course, I mean, as an artist, now, I said before, I'm more managing people, I'm more managing uh, department, but as an artist, I also love to do, to do shots. That is one of the things that, uh, that I want, I want, to, I want to, do, to do at the same time than managing people. Uh, I think one of the things that I love of the work of FX uh, is that the challenge of everything, that you have always to create something new, and it's very, it's great when you when you start from scratch. You, s you have like an idea, and after you you see how the the idea uh, start to to grow, and after you see the final look, and it maybe look, look looks fantastic. At the same time, another thing that I really love to do is now that I'm managing more people, is also the work is more supervising people. I think it's quite important as well to to give your experience. I mean, the same way that supervisor usually does. You, you have a lot of experience that you, because you grow during the projects and it's quite important you to, to give to transmit your experience to the other guys because probably it's true maybe you're not going, you're not going to press the button to press cash but you can give to the people some <coughs> tips in order to speed up the, the process and making the shot working fine I, I, I start working in crowd a long time ago was always interested in uh, artificial intelligence. This is the reason why uh, 2004 I developed like a crowd system for Maya. The name was CrowdMaker. So I, I developed this system for myself and after I, I just uh, released the, soft, the software online and I started to do some work for companies, small companies around the world. Uh, in 2006 uh, I was very lucky because I had been the chance to go to the SIGGRAPH to show like a small research poster about s some work we did. I did with a, with a friend of mine, and likely I met NPC that was also looking for for crowd like this, and I showed to them my software and also all the all the work that I do with my software. And that was the key to go to work in NPC. So my first the first show I did in NPC was 10,000 BC. It was like a crowd like It was I mean it was I all oh, I really love as well crowd because another challenging. Uh, challenging area working like in artificial intelligence. So I start as a crowd today working in 10,000 BC and, and another couple of shows. And after I, I felt a lot of interest for the effects department as well. So I've been asking the company if there was any chance to go in another department to try effects. And, and they moved me in, uh, in the effects department for, for the show G.I. Joe. The rise of the cobra, and so I started in the effects department, and also that was the first show where I learned to use Flowline. So I did some water and splashes in, uh, in for that show. It was very challenging because imagine you're also moving from one department that is crowd to a, to a department that is completely different. So you learn a lot of things. And I think this is also one of the things that I love of the of this kind of work, the that you always learn every day, and. It's, it's also quite important to work with people with a lot of experience because you can share your experience with them, you can learn a lot from other people. So I moved in the effects department, learning for line and, and other software. And then I decided, I said, this is a department that uh, I really love, I want to stay here. And so after show after show, uh, I always been, I, mean, I always improve my skills and I got also more responsibilities. So I've been promoted like for line leads. So taking care uh, a relationship with Skyline about the line and next shows uh, that was Narnia was water lead where I take responsibility of the, all the water simulation for the shows uh, and after uh, Harry Potter again as a effects lead where I was involved to, to, do, to the fire in that case and after I got the, this great opportunity to be the head of effects so managing the, the department so I think it's, I think the view is a is a great conference because I mean I see a lot of big, big companies coming here showing the work. I remember I didn't have the chance when I before I started to work in uh, in NPC to to join a lot of uh, conference like this. I think it's great because you go to one of these conference, you see you touch how the people uh, what they do, how they're working. You you learn. I think you learn a lot of things to see the workflow. So that I think is quite important. And also, there's always the chance to speak with other people that maybe they have more experience or they have a different experience as yours. Uh, I think it's also uh, quite important for the guys that they want to start to this kind of work to to see how the big companies are working. 
So which one is the workflow, uh, which software they use, or maybe to get some tips how they should, what they should do to go in this kind of industry.